Good afternoon, ladies and gents. As promised, <clears throat> I uh, said I'd uh, try to do another upload. Uh, and this time I'm going to look at a fridge door alarm, uh, which uh, was a problem uh, posed to me by Vincent. Um, and uh, yeah, well, it's not a problem, it's just a challenge. And he, um, he started on um, doing an um, uh, alarm for a fridge freezer uh, with three doors. So what I've done is um, I've uh, named it as a uh, fridge door alarm freezer door alarm and an ice box alarm um, and it's just um, an exercise in using uh, flow code and uh, i'm sticking to flow code 7 because that's what we've got in school and uh, restricting uh, myself to using the um, combo board uh, because that is what we're gonna have for the exam um, so let's hop into it. Uh, what are we doing? Well, we are simulating uh, fridge doors, uh, freezer doors, uh, icebox doors being opened by pressing a button, uh, for which uh, I've chosen a 0, a 1 and a 2 and um, yeah. Uh, uh, we need some variables to attach to these buttons here and uh, the uh, uh, freezer door is the one that connects to the freezer door activation, which is A1. And fridge door is A0. And then we've got the ice box uh, variable uh, again uh, on A2. And all these variables here, uh, not all of them, sorry, the freezer door, fridge door and the ice box, as you can see, they've got a small B next to it that means they are um, boolean uh, that one wasn't set for boolean but should have been um, which is a very simple calculation it's either true or false that's what we want we want to just know whether the door is open or closed so boolean is one or zero true or false so um, they should all have small b's next to them so yeah freeze the door fridge door and icebox and then we come to the variables that control the counting of the time um, for how long the doors are open. So what I've done here is I've, uh, oh, hang on, is that, no, that's the fridge door, that's fine. Let's go on the fridge one first. So the fridge one, what I'm doing here this time around, rather than counting down, I'm counting up. So I've, choose, I've chosen this one here, INT. Uh, which allows us to have negative as well as positive numbers. And I'm starting at minus 50. So I'm gonna say that, right, the fridge door can be open for a maximum of 50 seconds before the alarm goes off. Um, so 50 seconds should be uh, plenty to uh, get the chicken out, etc. Uh, click OK on that. Um, the freezer door I've set for less because it's uh, more critical in terms of uh, the ice box. Uh, uh, sorry, the freezer uh, compartment it tends tend to get iced over uh, fairly easily, so you've got to be a little bit quicker uh, trying to get uh, your ice cubes uh, out, etc. Uh, so I've set that for 30 seconds or minus 30. We're going to count up from minus 30 to zero. And the ice box even less. Oops, let's have a look here. The ice box even less. Uh, I've set that for 15 seconds. And again, we're using the INT, which allows us to use negative and positive numbers. Okay, let's go through the main main macro first, the main program. Uh, what I've done at first, because I've had some difficulties clearing the screen here, is I've just set a combo board clear at the very start. So we go to component macros and we can just drag these in as I've shown before. Right, okay, I've already got one so I don't need one. Come on, get rid, get rid. Right, so uh, one clear here, that's just to clear the screen before we start anything. Uh, I've also put one clear at the bottom. Um, it, it doesn't make much difference and we have a little bit of difficulties. I think flow code is flaky. Uh, it's, it's not a perfect piece of software, but you know, there we go. Let's zoom in a bit. 
Okay, so I said I used three switches here for this. Uh, A0 for the fridge door, A1 for the freezer door, and A2 for the uh, icebox. So it's a very simple thing. So we start with adding a loop first, get the loop in, and then we can start adding an input, uh, which is then going to control the um, on uh, whether or not the door is open, the fridge door is open. We're going to choose single bits because we're going to have it on channel zero or bit zero, port A as usual here. So and that is the variable fridge door which we made earlier or you made earlier. So fridge door and it's a boolean one or zero, right? So uh, single bit zero fridge door is the variable we want. Um, then we pull in a decision. Um, is the fridge door open or closed? Uh, I've set zero for closed and one for open. So I need to ask the question fridge door equal one. Is it open? If that is the case, then we bring in a macro and you should have already made these macros uh, or you may might make them up as we go along here now but one needs to be called fridge door alarm so uh, the fridge door alarm uh, macro is up here I'm going to show you that in a minute I just want to go through the main program first so um, we have got from the start we got a clear combo board to start with a fresh screen uh, we put in a loop because our program needs to run uh, all the while um, we are simulating this uh, opening and closing of doors. Um, input A0 fridge door, right? Uh, that is the uh, variables on this side here. And then we ask a question fridge door, is it open? Yes, if that's the case, we call a macro, which is the fridge door alarm. Right, then we go to the next input, uh, A1, which is our freezer door. So we attached that to the freezer door uh, variable. Very simple, single bit this time because we want on I1 and port A and freezer door is the variable. Right, same again, ask a question or make a decision. Is the freezer door open? Is it gone to one? If that's the case, then we need to call the freezer door alarm macro, the subroutine, right? So freezer door alarm here. And same again with the ice box, we attach that to A2 button. And that means uh, that has to be on the ice box variable. Boolean again, one or zero, on or off. Um, and that goes to single bit two. So that's A2 there. So when we zoom out a little bit here now, what you should be looking at is this program here. Now you can't see all the text here probably, but we start on A0, decision, call macro, and this is identical to that one, which is identical to that one. So they just identical one after another but obviously with different values uh, so that we can get uh, them to control uh, the various buttons that we've assigned a zero one and two okay i hope we're all okay with that and i said i put a clear screen on the end of the program and a clear screen at the very beginning uh, but that did not seem to work out that great but i, I keep them in anyway they Certainly not messing the program up. So that is the main. Right, let's have a look at the fridge door alarm first of all. So it's the fridge door we're going to concentrate on now. Uh, not super complicated. Uh, a little bit of work involved. So as you see here, I've also added some comments in, which you should be doing for your exam to explain your program. So uh, first of all, I need to set the cursor to zero and zero because 
0 and 0 there because I want the message to start in the top left hand window here, top left hand corner. And uh, you can drag your component macros in directly from the components here. This is where all the macros, uh, component macros, which are different to your macros uh, that you make yourself, component macros are specific to the hardware. Um, so we start on 0, 0 for the first message. So the message for fridge door open as a print string. Right, we might, uh, drag a print string in from your component macro in like that. I'm not going to do that because I've already got one. Let's double click and see here is the string again inside double quotes and we just say fridge door open because it's not a very long display we've got so we need to keep it short. So fridge door open. Then you need to add a little delay, 200 milliseconds. And then we're going to move the, uh, for the next message, we're going to move the cursor one down, one down on the bottom line here. So instead of zero, zero, we have now zero, one. So we move it one down on the Y direction. That means the next message will start on the bottom line. That's what we want. And the next message is not a message but a counter uh, and for that we need a calculation so the calculation is very simply the variable that we made which is fridge remember we set that for minus 50 because we're going to count up from minus 50 to zero and in that calculation in here and I'll make it up from scratch for you so you can see how it's done right I need to find my fridge equals to fridge again plus one because we're going to count up in one second intervals up until zero so that is what that should look like then we need to display the count and we do that again with a uh, component macro this time a print number so we want a print number and once you've got that in you just choose uh, from your variable the fridge because that is that's the bit that's keeping track of our time All right so I'm just gonna cancel that because I've done that already so uh, so far cursor moved it one down then we got our calculation fridge equals fridge plus one and we set the variable for the fridge we set that for minus 50 which we've got to count up from and then we need to check how far we have got in the count and we do that with the decision box so fridge is the fridge variable so you, again you get it here from your uh, right hand side is the fridge variable larger than or equal to zero? If that's the case, then we need to call a, another component macro, um, which is uh, another cursor, because what we're gonna do now is we're gonna add another message to say that you need to close the fridge door. Obviously, it's gonna be shorter than that, but um, we, we could split it up into two lines, but we're gonna keep it simple now, so. The cursor uh, has been set for 0 and 1, that means we're going to start on the lower line here and the um, component macro print string is very simply close fridge door inside double brackets. Then what I've also done, uh, I've added a little blinking red light just sort of for good measure so I've chosen uh, as you probably can see here now I've chosen B7 so that is output to port B7 which is this LED here um, and everybody should know how to do this by now single bit you choose 7 and make sure you're on port B because that's different from our inputs we can't have inputs and outputs clashing with each other we want it to go high or onto 1 1 high uh, true um, then we're going to have a delay of 300 milliseconds before it goes off again. And the only difference being that we put it to zero. So B1, B0, on, 
off with 300 millisecond uh, intervals. Um, okay, so we've done our uh, fridge door alarm subroutine. Uh, let's go up to the very beginning here. So, cursor first of all, then a message to say fridge door is open, 200 milliseconds, another cursor to shift the y-axis down so that we can get a place for the counter, which is this calculation for here, fridge equals fridge plus one, and then the combo board print number macro, that's the um, component macro, and then we ask has the counter uh, come up to zero or higher, if that's the case then we're gonna put another message in to say that you must close the fridge door. Let's see if this works now. Um, in fact let's go back to main first just to see what the operation is. So operation is very simple, I press a zero fridge door is asking a, or a question or making a decision here, is the fridge door set to one? If that's the case, we're gonna call the fridge door alarm, which we've just had a look at. So that's the fridge door alarm here. Let's uh, have a whiz at that and see if it works. Oh yes, so we're now simulating fridge door open. It's counting up from minus 50. So we got our chicken and our vegetables out quickly. Oh, and the butter, and the butter, oh, okay, yeah. And then close fridge door. That's the message that comes in. And then we've got a, a blinking light on B7 as well. So for as long as this door is now open, we could add a buzzer or a, you know, audible alarm to this as well, uh, but that would uh, involve uh, external components, which we haven't got for the exam. So that's why I'm trying to, um, keep this within the realms of the combo board. Right, uh, okay, now as soon as I let go, it should in theory close or uh, clear the screen, which it doesn't. That is the annoying bit, which I think, you know, there is a little bit of a bug in, um, uh, in, in flow code, and I've tried various combinations of clear screen here, trust me, I have. Right, I'm just going to stop that simulation and start it again. And hopefully it'll clear the screen. Yes, it does. So it, it clears the screen every time I stop and start the simulation. Right, let's go uh, a further bit into main here now. So we've done the first bit, uh, tested it. A0, that's the fridge door uh, simulation. And... Uh, no, I didn't. Sorry. Uh, my, my. And then we need to go to A1. Freeze the door, which is this one. And as I said, single bit, uh, put it to one because that is where I want it. And the freeze the door is the uh, macro, not macro, sorry, uh, variable, uh, boolean zero uh, or one. And again, we ask a question or we make a decision. Is the freeze the door open? If that's the case, we need to go to the freezer door alarm. Let's go to the freezer door alarm. Now, the freezer door alarm is in construction uh, exactly the same as the fridge door alarm, but obviously with different values. Um, so again, we start with a cursor. We then go to a print string which we want to say freezer is open or freezer open or freezer door open whatever you want to put in there uh, make sure you put it in double quotes or else it will be mistaken for a command line that's going to cause trouble uh, we're sticking a delay of 200 milliseconds then we're going to put another cursor in now the first cursor is on zero zero that means we start in the top left hand corner for the first message then we're going to move down to um, the next cursor, which is going to put our um, y-axis or the uh, shift the y-axis one down so that we start for the counter here. Now we're going to start down in the uh, lower left hand corner. Uh, I could also, if I wanted to, put in 
10 here, uh, just as a experiment, which means uh, we have now 10 and 1, which means that the counter is going to start over here. So 1 down and 10 across. So it's a bit like crosswords. Uh, then we have the calculation. Now the freezer, just to remind you about the freezer variable. Uh, we set for INT there and we set it for minus 30, so a slightly lower value. Uh, we're going to count up from minus 30 with that calculation. So again, I'll do this with you. So we go to our freezer variable equals freezer again plus one because we're going to count up in one second intervals. Then we got to print that result, the accounting of that um, up, uh, out to the uh, display, the LCD display. And we, again, you just pick your uh, variable from the right hand menu there. All right. Um, so whilst this is printing, we need to have a check, uh, a decision again, and we need to say, right, is the freezer counter uh, has that now reached zero or above, e uh, larger than or equal to zero? If that's the case, we're going to move on to another cursor uh, that's going to again move the message down uh, one in the y axis. So we land on the lower line there. And the print string is going to be very simply please close the freezer. Uh, or close freezer, close freezer door, whatever you prefer to put in there, uh, as long as you put it in double quotes. And again, I've chosen the same light, uh, B7 for the alarm. Uh, I could easily copy this, uh, copy that and put in more blinks. Let's see if we can, that's it. So, uh, yeah, so on, off, on off four times whilst this is uh, whilst the door is open um, okay so let's just do a quick recap cursor first zero zero then freezer open is the print string right that's the uh, warning for the freezer door being open a light slight delay there then we're going to move the cursor one down in the y direction to uh, accommodate for our counter which is the freezer equals freezer plus one. That's going to be counting up from minus 30 and printing it out with the print number component macro. And that's going to happen on the lower line there because we set it to in the um, cursor. Then we are asking is the freezer counter, has it come up to zero? If that's the case, we need to put out a message quickly that they need to close the freezer door. Okay, and then we've got some warning lights on B7 on top of that. So again, we go back to main and the A1 button. Very simple uh, program here. Just one input, one decision and one call macro. That's it. So let's test it. Let's see if it works. So A1. Oh, freeze the door open. And as you can see, because I shifted the counter 10, 10 across on the x-axis as well, it's gone slightly to the right. Close freezer. Okay. It works. Now, what doesn't work is that when we close the door, and that's something I need to look at, we could put in a subroutine here, possibly. Um, but the clear screen uh, doesn't work until I actually stop the program and then start it again. And I'm sure, well, some of you uh, might come up with a solution for this. Um, so we've done the uh, freezer and fridge door alarms. Let's have a look at the icebox. Let's just stop that icebox alarm. I think it's because I've sitting been sat on this too long now. Uh, I've gone blind on all the um, options and gone blind on the program. Uh, right, same again. We are starting with the icebox alarm here and uh, cursor zero zero. 
Um, the next uh, warning message will be icebox open. Same again. You just put it into double quotes, whatever message you want to have, icebox door or the icebox is open. You're obviously limited to 16 characters. That's something else you need to think about. Um, okay, another delay. And uh, just to remind ourselves about the ice box um, variable. That one I've set to even lower interval, minus 15 or 15 seconds. Same again, we use the INT number. And then we move on to the cursor. We're going to move it one down because we've got the counter on the bottom line here. And the calculation is the... Um, so I'll do this with you. So ice equals ice plus one because we're going to count up from minus 15. Then we are using the print number component macro to output this to the so it's the variable ice we're going to print out and we're going to print that on a lower line here but because we set it up in the cur cursor here to go on a lower line. Same again we're asking the uh, ultimate question has ice come up uh, or higher to uh, from zero uh, is ice higher or equals to zero and if that's the case then we need to clear the decks put a cursor in so we put a cursor in for zero and one because i want the um, next message to come on the lower line there and then the print message print string rather um, in double quotes close ice box or close close ice door box close ice box door whatever fun you fancy it and same again same um, uh, alarm lights uh, on b7 there uh, i'm just going to keep that as it is so uh, let's zoom out a bit that means you can't see the text but as you can see though there isn't it's not a hugely complicated program in itself and it's identical to the fridge door alarm and it's identical to the fridge freezer door alarm apart from of, of course using different variables and different uh, uh, commands for the uh, timing Okay, so they are exactly the same, and again, the main it's fairly straightforward here. We've got A0, A1, and A2, and they're all identical apart from the fact that they are controlling uh, A0 is controlling the fridge door, A1 is controlling the freezer door, and A2 um, is controlling the ice box. And we're asking a very simple question is it open? Is it on or off? Okay, so let's finally just test the ice box. That's A2. Yeah, ice box open. You've got 15 seconds to get your ice cubes out and then close ice box. And the B7 might is working as well. Okay, so uh, please, if you watch this, um, leave comments, ask questions. Um, and yeah, uh, just for Vincent, I mean, I, I had a look at the first program you made and uh, I think you overcomplicated things a bit, but uh, hopefully this will explain the process a little bit better for you. Uh, please ask questions uh, and I, I will answer it uh, over Easter up until we come back next week.